and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away. And sorrow and sign shall flee away. There's something there tonight. I say there's something there tonight. I say chapter 41, verse 10. I say chapter 41. I'm reading there from verse 10. It tells us in verse 10, fear thou not, for I am with thee. The Savior says, I am with thee. The deliverer says, I am with thee. The healer says, I am with thee. The provider says, I am with thee. Miracle has come. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all day that were incensed and angry against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and find and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as and as a sin of naught, for I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, I will keep you. And ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Says the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, Behold, I will make thee a sharp new threshing instrument, having teeth, and thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make the, the hills a sharp. Thou shalt find them, and the wind will carry them away. All your problems, the wind will carry them away. All your mountains, the wind will carry them away. All your distress, the wind will carry them away. Joblessness, the wind will carry them away. Poverty, the wind will carry them away. It says, I shall find them. And the wind will carry them away. And the world wind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. Somebody there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. My daughter there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. My son there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. And shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Where is your amen? Isaiah chapter 52. I say chapter 52. I say chapter 52, verse 1. Awake. Awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on the beautiful garment, so Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth, from tonight, like the date now, from henceforth, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. You may lie down and cockroaches walking all over you, insects crawling all over you, and all the problems of the forest, all the problems of the because we are lying down. Shake yourself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the pants of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. You are getting up today. Your strength is coming back today. The power of the Lord upon your life is coming back today. 
Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah chapter 54, I'm reading from verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent. Increase has come. Enlargement has come. Enlarge the place of thy tent. And let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not. Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not. Are you there? Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shall remember, and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. Look at verse 17 there. Verse 17. Verse 17. Ah, look at something for you here. God wrote this because of you. He put this now because of. I said, because of no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. In your community, in your compound, in the village. On the road, in the market, on the chair you're sitting on, the food you eat, the water you drink, the situation you find yourself, anywhere you are, in the taxi, in the bus, on the road, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. In the dream, in the day, Anywhere and everywhere, no weapon that is from the gates they shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Give me a good amen. Psalm 20, I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 20, we're looking at verse 1. In Psalm 20, verse 1, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings, and the Lord accept thy bond sacrifice. The Lord grant thee according to thine own heart, and fulfill, and fulfill, and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. Look at this one. Look at this one. Read it out yourself. You believe that? Say it again. Look at the person by your side and say to them. Point to them and tell them it will happen to them. Now point back to yourself and say it for yourself. Tonight. I said tonight. Your night of recovery, I said tonight. The Lord shall fulfill all thy petition. It will happen in Jesus' name. That good thing that you lost. It's coming to you right now. Recovery. 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 
I'm a possessor tonight. I'm an achiever tonight. I'm a conqueror tonight. I am well. I am healed. I am delivered. I am blessed. Point number three, the prayer. Point number three, the prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. How many people are going to be answered tonight? Everybody, everybody, everybody is coming your way. Psalm 65, Psalm 65, verse 2. Oh, thou that hearest prayer is getting ready for you now. It's getting ready for you now. Everything that comes out of your mouth tonight, oh, thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Psalm 61. Psalm 61. I'm reading from verses 1 and 2. Psalm 61, verses 1 and 2. We have not cried, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Something higher, something greater, something better, something richer, something farther to the top, to the top, to the top. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Mark, Mark chapter 9. In Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 22, Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 22, and all times it has cast him into the fire and into the waters and to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. If thou canst do anything, the man was, you know, of the old school. He didn't know that Jesus will do everything. But now I know, but now I know, but now I know. I know that in your life tonight, he will do everything. And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, if thou canst believe, all things are possible. To him that believeth. That's why you came tonight. All you came tonight is just to believe. I came to believe. I said, I came to believe. I said, I came to believe. And as you believe, as you believe, all things are possible in your life in Jesus' name. Chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily, assuredly, truly, certainly, I say unto you, that whosoever, I say unto you, that whosoever, who is whosoever? Have you met him before? Whosoever, have you seen him before? Whosoever, I said, is he there tonight? Are you sure? Ah, tonight problems have gone. Whosoever, look at this, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Where's your mountain tonight? In the sea. I said, where's your problem tonight? Where's that sickness tonight? Where's the joblessness tonight? That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou reproach, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe 
that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have. I will have. I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them. And what will happen? And ye shall have them. Tonight, God is going to answer everyone. Total recovery for everyone tonight. God always answers prayer. What kind of prayer? Fervent prayer. Fervent prayer. The one that stands up tonight and said, God, you gave me the promise and you talk out and let the devil hear tonight that you have got the victory let the enemies hear tonight that you have got the victory fervent prayer is going to be answered faith and court prayer prayer that is uncaught on faith that says I believe God I have faith in God that tonight Tonight is the night of my recovery, faith and God prayer. Tonight, prevailing prayer. This one is not come next time. Come next time. Ah, uh, tonight, tonight. You will prevail in Jesus' name. Importunate prayer. The one that is knocking and keeps on knocking and keeps on knocking. And heaven says, who is that? And you say, it's me, child of God. I'm asking for this. You told me all my petitions will be answered. And I have a long list in my hand here. That's why I'm knocking. And you keep on talking. You keep on knocking. Importunate prayer. Thank God he has answered you tonight. Undeniable prayer. Und I will not be denied. I will not be denied. Until he comes and makes me whole, I will not be denied. Let me go for the daybreakers. No, you cannot go. I will not let you go except to bless me on deniable prayer tonight. Heaven piercing prayer. That door in heaven must open. I said that door in heaven must open. Because the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Heaven piercing prayer. Strength restoring prayer. That as you pray tonight, the weakness will drain away. By the time we say the final amen, you'll say, I feel strong. I can walk. I can jump. I can run. I have a testimony. It will be your mouth. Strength restoring prayer. Life transforming prayer. That you know your life has been like this, like this, but tonight. The kind of prayer that will transform your life. Mountain moving prayer. This mountain must go. I said this mountain must go. Darkness dispelling prayer. Any darkness in your way. Any darkness in your sight. The prayer we pray tonight will dispel all those areas of darkness in Jesus name. Yoke breaking prayer. Yoke breaking prayer. They hang it on your neck. They hang it in your family. The curse, the yoke, the heavy load. The prayer we pray tonight. Get ready. I say, get ready. It will break every yoke in your life in Jesus' name. Destiny changing prayer destiny changing prayer no bad luck for anybody here tonight 
No evil again for anybody here tonight. I'm hearing a voice and they're following after me. In the name of Jesus, get out. Destiny changing prayer tonight is going to happen to you. Now, are you ready? Where are you? I said, where are you? Are you sitting down? I said, where are you? Very late, very late, I say unto you, that whosoever, whosoever is sitting in the house tonight, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, unto this mountain, talk now, unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe. This which it says shall come to pass. I will have. I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things so ever right now you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you have got them. You have got them. You have got them. Open your mouth and let heaven hear you. Let heaven hear you. Let heaven hear you. Tonight is a night of recovery. Tonight is a night of miracle. Tonight is a night of power. Tonight is a night of breaking yoke. Tonight is a night of salvation. Tonight is a night of strength. Tonight is a night of open heavens. Tonight, tonight, you have come, you have come, receive. You have come, be saved. You have come, be healed. You have come, be delivered. The brain tumor is going away. That brain tumor is going away. Receive that. You are healed. The power is gone. Receive that. You are healed. What he bed at night, that is gone. Receive that. You are free. The noise in your ear, all that is healed. You're free. That shadow that follows after you, that shadow of the enemy is driven away. You're free. The pain as if you stepped on, on a nail, and therefore that sin refused to be healed. That's all. The soul is drying up right now. You are healed. You are walking and then somebody slaps you from the back. You look back, you couldn't see anybody. And since that time, you have had that terrible problem at that very place, that thing is canceled tonight. You are healed. They call your name. You answer. After that answer, it's like your life became disoriented. You're free tonight. You're free tonight. The Lord has set you free. Whosoever, whosoever, shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea shall not doubt in his heart he shall have he shall have whatsoever he says You stepped on something and heat passed through to your body, through that leg, 
And since that time, you've been leaping. You're free. The Lord sets you free tonight. Free. Let that short leg grow out. You're free. Dimness of sight. Once it's got into evening, you can't see anything, virtually anything. The dimness is cleared away. Partial blindness is cleared away. Now you are free. Now you are free. You have recovered your sight. Free. Healed. Delivered. The yoke is broken. The threats of the enemy taken away. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has answered your prayer. Say, I believe. The Lord has answered my prayer. You are healed. Just say, I'm healed. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. You are lifted up. You are promoted. Your enemy is conquered. Your prayer is answered. What is it? Whosoever. 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 Tonight, joy. Tonight, testimony. Tonight, overflowing blessing. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your faithfulness. I pray, Lord, everyone here without exception, receive your answer in Jesus' name. Salvation for every soul. Forgiveness for every soul. Renewal for every life. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Miracle for everyone. Receive in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you break every yoke in every life. Remove disease from everyone. And let your healing virtue flow through the body of everyone right now in Jesus' name. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Receive the healing virtue of Christ. You are healed. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. Your yokes are broken. Barrenness cancelled. Incredible disease cancelled. And all those attacks and all those things taken away from your life in Jesus' name. Lord, showers of blessing for everyone. Showers of miracle for everyone. Showers of deliverance for everyone. Lord, confirm it in every life. To my right, miracle. In front of me, miracle. To the left, miracle. At the gallery is miracle. Lord, I pray the joy of the Lord will be the strength of everyone. Go back home with joy. Go back home with miracle. Go back home with total recovery. There's testimony in your mouth now. Joy in your soul. Laughter in your mouth. You go from victory unto victory. Lord, confirm it in every life. Thank you because I know you have answered. I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. My prayer is answered. Tell the one by your side, my prayer is answered. 
I got it. I got it. Anybody got it there? May it be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. So the Lord shall be upon us in Jesus. Imagine that we are not in the church today. Imagine, look at that blessing. God will continue to bless with us, bless us in Jesus' name. I don't want to say how many of us spoke to Pastor Dada today, but I will come out uh, this morning. Uh, Mommy Gracia was able to speak to a Pastor Dada, and then Mommy Sandy too was able to speak with Pastor Dada. So we, we are planning that he should, before he comes, he should speak to us through the Zoom and then promise us a lot of promise we are going to uh, encounter as he's visiting the Charlotte Free Church. So he now asked that before we, we do that, he wants us to take a date. Who among us are thinking of dates? Uh, he told us to last Sunday when he spoke to me he said we can choose any day from now but I told him as far as I'm coming to this sea in May I want us to after May he should let us take any date so should we meet next Sunday or can we deliberate about the date now or we should let it that date should be after May 15 after May, uh, May 15. Uh, I think May 15 is Sunday. All of us, we can look at our, our, our answers. It's May 15, Sunday. Yeah. What is May 15? May 15. What is it? Yeah. Is it Sunday? Okay, so May 16, I will be in DC from May 14 to May uh, 16. Then I come back on May 16. That one does not mean the service will not be here on Sunday. And then if I need to come back, I will come back on Saturday. So now, after we have known that May 16, uh, does anybody have date you can choose in mind? After May 16, that he is going to visit us, he told us to choose a date. May 30th, that's two weeks. Uh, is that okay? Uh, all of us are involved now. That as the first assurance that all of us we are going to be there. That's the first assurance. That's May 30th. We are going to be here. I want him to come here so that he will, he will see everything. If there's anything he need to do, he will see it. If there's anything he need to ask us, he will ask us. And if anything we need to prepare as a question or anything, please do not uh, misquote me or do not. If I have any personal question about my religion, I will ask on that day. You get what I'm saying? Whatever you are thinking about deeper life, if you have it, ask him on that day. Whatever you are thinking about matrimonial, ask him on that day. Whatever you are thinking about children, ask him on that day. Whatever you are thinking about, uh, Pastor Matthew has always said, he want, doesn't want to see me in this way, he doesn't want, please ask him on that day. So continue to gather your question together. And uh, whatever you think that, Pastor Dada, I want you to reverse this on me. This is my situation. This is my situation. If you can ask openly, ask him or that. If you cannot ask him openly, immediately you get up. Tell him, Pastor Dada, after the meeting today, I want to see you. 
I want you to I want to discuss personal thing with you. It's your pastor. You get what I'm saying? And that is his job. You get what I'm saying? That is his job. So he must be there to be responsible for you. I wish he's listening to us online now. So yeah, you don't have an excuse. If God can bring him on that day, whatsoever you might have been thinking about, whatsoever you might have thought about, whatsoever you want to know more, please do not hesitate to ask him on. Because this is what I want to do. I will make sure people in Nigeria, they join us. All those are our prayer, something. We will join through the Zoom. Uh, instead of side the scripture, we, uh, uh, Mom and Gracia and the Minister, they have not seen our side the scripture. But instead of side, side, side the scripture, we are going to do a question and answer for him. So that anybody that has questions, they will ask him. And God is going to answer, I mean, by the power of the blood of Jesus, God is going to help him to answer us in Jesus' name. Uh, please do not say I'm taking your time. It's part of what is... Uh, I believe we need to discuss about. They are very, very important because I, I, I wish you see him. He's coming in full force. When I mean he's coming in full force, he's coming with all anointing. He's coming with all anointing. And then you can't waste that kind of anointing for him to come here. I, I wish you see our all our churches in Alabama, Philadelphia, Colorado, uh, North Carolina, uh, we are the least of all the church. We have sent them in the Easter retreat. Now, for him to leave all those church and come to Charlotte Way, uh, what I will do on that day is that I will, will not let you go except you bless us. That's what we are going to do for him. If, if involved that we take his jacket, that pastor, except you bless us today, we will not let you go. We will do. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Children, I don't know why you are sleeping today. I'm so surprised. Maybe after I left home, you didn't go to sleep. Please. Please, that I'm not around. Your mommy is in school. Does not mean you shouldn't take control of yourself. Please. I'm so, 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 so surprised, two of you. Please. I don't want that to repeat itself again. The Bible let me know that open rebuke is better than secret rebuke. Please, I don't want that one to repeat this again. Two of you are sleeping. Please. Okay. Uh, I'm saying you should talk to us before May 30th that we are taking. That uh, you can, if you can talk to God that I'm visiting you in May 30th and I want you to prepare, I want you to be ready. I'm coming full force. No, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I will meet you in full force. We spoke to him this morning. Uh, I was in the car. Mommy Grisha was in the car, and then Mommy Sandy was in the car. So we spoke to him this morning, and they said we should let him know the date first. So that's uh, number one. Please take it in mind. I can distribute this. Uh, the second one is that every one of us have been asking, why can't we go back to that school we are using? I still discussed it with uh, Sister Amanda yesterday. Uh, the first thing, the first of them is, I've discussed it, let's just, let just take two, 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 two is not too much for you to use to invite people. Please do not give two, two, is it, is it the end? Okay, that's okay. Sit down. Uh, I've discussed with Mommy Gracia too. The first thing is financial situation. I told Mommy Gracia anytime we use that one, that place is 110. That primary, that place we are using. Uh -huh. But it's free here. Yeah. That's number one. But if you want us to be using it, we may decide that at end of the month, Maybe once in a month we can be using it because we are the church. I'm not the church. The only thing is that uh, everything, by the grace that will be somebody that is leading. That's why I'm here. 
So that's the reason. Is any time we use that play, it's one hundred and ten. And then without every one of us, we know the, our financial situation in the church. Uh, for that church prayer, we are coordinating every week. We are spending sixty dollars every week. We are, yeah, the, the prayer meeting we are coordinating online. You know, we have uh, Thursday, uh, Charlotte we pray. We have a uh, Saturday hour of victory. We have Sunday, we are going to have today the gathering of the eagle. Then we have in the night men's prayer, which we call divine intervention. Those prayers, we have six pastors that is supporting us. All those six pastors, I buy $13 card for them every week. That makes it $60. That makes $240 every week every month every that's every month so if we add it to the 110 dollar that's 300 uh, something dollars then if uh, we add my the way all of you see the way i'm running at least i don't get to anybody else in a week that's me at least twice that at least twice So, and I want to tell you one secret today. They said the foil I'm buying, the regular one, I should stop buying this regular, I should be buying the medium one. So instead of $30, $40 foil I'm buying, it's, it's now $50 something, $50 something dollars per week, per week. That's per week. If there is no any other thing that I need to assist the member of the, which I'm very proud of, which I need to assist the member of, including my own personal and therefore, so when all of us we sit down, I appreciate every one of you. The grace of the Lord will continue to be with you. The mighty hand of the Lord will continue. I just want you to know the situation whereby I'm not taking some decision that oh, let us move. And uh, by the grace of the Lord, uh, you may not see me contributing. Am I? That money is coming from somewhere, and there's no any other. Uh, it, that's not. <laughs> let me tell you one secret. <laughs> it won't eat here. I can bet it with you. <laughs> it won't. I can bet it with you. But there's a something we can do technically. He's our papada, and then by the grace of that, nothing we do for him that is too much. We can decide to go and buy very good plates in the best uh, bath or what do they call it. Uh, uh, be, is it uh, best bath? Uh, is it bed bath? Uh, yeah, is it bed bath? Eh? Uh, bed bath and beyond. Bed. We can go and buy a very good plate. So some of you can cook, then we cover it, we we'll put it inside this car. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But I can bet, we have done, he, he knows the way to dodge you. He won't eat here. <laughs> You will think that he will eat, he will, he will delay you, delay you. By the time you see it, he has gone. So I've, we have tried it and I've seen it. And it's a part of the training he trained us to. Uh, if not part of the love I have for any one of you, it's like when you are this, you need to be careful. Not because of any other thing. You need to give yourself respect among other people. And that's what part of the training, but we have become a family. So anywhere I go, I eat. 